Chris, we have a 74 page research report. This must be, you know, this must be the Holy Grail. Okay. What do we have here, Chris? Well, uh, you know, search minerals, uh, uh, the report on search minerals contained uh, a lot of information on the rare earth uh, minerals because uh, a lot of people don't know a lot about them. So, and, and since there are 17 different minerals in that grouping, it was like writing a report on 17 different minerals in, in one report. So, but the important thing is that Search Minerals is a, a Canadian company that's focusing on developing a project in Labrador. Uh, so it's a homegrown project for the very important rare earth sector. And it looks like that may be uh, driving forward to be one of the first uh, operating mines and processors in, in North America. Okay, and that's very exciting. So I wanna encourage everybody who, has, who may not understand the rare earth sector to start here, because you really do provide a wonderful introduction to the entire sector and some comparative analysis, which is invaluable. Can you tell us one of the top things that you learned while researching this report? Yeah, I, I think the important thing about uh, this company and the project is the fact that it is a district scale project and it can go on for you know, over 20 years, which is important when you're developing a project of this size. Um, and I think that the other thing that was important was that they, the team they put together has the ability to not only mine this deposit, but also do some processing to make it uh, readily available for other, uh, you know, third parties that want to take the minerals and, and put it into products. And But in general, what did you learn about the rare earth sector that you may not have known about previously oh okay yeah so the, the rare earth sector itself um you know we take for granted every day because uh they're not it's not very well known but if you're looking at any of the modern technology sectors out there like solar um you know right now electric vehicles is is, is important wireless medical imaging all these modern technologies rely on one or many of these rare earths and they are critically important because you cannot substitute them. So you cannot take another mineral and substitute them, th them into the product. So you need these minerals themselves. And that's what makes them very important. You also pointed out some of the benefits of the, uh, the improved economics and the revised PEA that was recently announced because that was a major news event for search this year. Yeah, they released an updated PEA, which uh, comprised two of their deposits as opposed to one. And the, the new deposit they added, which was DFOX had a higher grade, which helps with the economics because it makes it uh, the higher grade helps with the, the get additional revenue as well as its lower cost. So I think that's quite important for it. You know, they had the top line number they put out was a $2 billion number, which was a pre-tax number. You know, we did our numbers and looked at the post-tax number, which is still a billion dollars over a 20 year period. And, and found very positive economics uh, with the project. And that's how we came about with our target price. Well, I'm not gonna tell anyone what that target price is. I'm gonna encourage you to go to eresearch.com and or write Chris directly to find out more about his summary on search minerals. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Tracy.